This story begins at the beginning of everything. This is the laboratory of particle physicist Helen Quinn, whose theories bring clarity to the earliest moments of the universe and just might illuminate one of the darkest mysteries in physics. Born just outside of Melbourne, Quinn's education began at a private girls' school comprising three classrooms surrounded by 50 acres of Australian bushland. I remember my high school math teacher telling me, Helen, you could be a mathematician because you are so lazy. <laughs> you will never do a problem the hard way. You have to find a clever way. Quinn would soon prove just how clever she was. After two years in a meteorology program at Melbourne University, Quinn followed her family to the U.S. She enrolled at Stanford and quickly changed her major to physics. Quinn earned her PhD in 1967, one of the only female physicists in the world at that time. She set out to answer a perplexing question. How did the fundamental forces of nature come to be? There are four fundamental forces in the universe. Gravity, which you can feel pulling you down into your chair. The electromagnetic force, which binds the atoms in your chair together so you don't fall through. The strong force, which holds the atom's nucleus together. And the weak force, responsible for radioactive decay. Quinn focused on three of these. The weak force, the strong force, and the electromagnetic force have very different strengths, but they have the same mathematical structure. And so it's very tempting to think of them of different aspects of a single type of force. Physicists had been trying to unify the forces for years. Working with Benjamin Franklin medalist Steve Weinberg and Howard Georgie, Quinn turned back the clock to the beginning of time. She ran mathematical simulations of the three forces in high energy conditions like those just after the Big Bang. What she discovered became a physics milestone. Quinn found that at high energies, the forces of nature begin to behave as one. In other words, Quinn's work suggests a single unified force created the universe and then split apart into the forces that shape everything we see today, making great progress towards a solution even Einstein struggled to uncover in his lifetime. But Quinn wasn't done. She became fascinated by another mystery of the early universe. The Big Bang created matter and its mirror opposite, antimatter. When matter collides with antimatter, the two atoms explosively annihilate each other. Because the Big Bang created matter and antimatter in perfectly equal amounts, there should be nothing left of either today. However, this isn't the case. The universe is filled with regular matter and no antimatter. Quinn knew this could only happen if the laws of physics for matter and antimatter were somehow different. And your intuition based on everyday experience isn't worth very much for doing particle physics. This led Quinn to predict a new particle called the axion, potentially one of the biggest discoveries in physics history. We studied the rotation of galaxies for decades and one thing is clear. They all rotate in a way that only makes sense if there is more matter in galaxies than we can see. Scientists call this unseen matter dark matter, and we don't know what it is yet. Quinn's axion could be the answer we've been looking for, and if the particle is found in future experiments, the axion would become one of the most important discoveries in history. And the, the most fascinating, in fact, is that thinking about the smallest things links to thinking about the biggest things. Now retired from Stanford, Quinn works to bring sweeping change to science education, promoting women in science as well as new programs and methods of teaching science content to the generations that will further her research. Her efforts cap off 50 years of discoveries, which have sprouted new branches of particle physics, inspired experiments that may still revolutionize our understanding of nature, and brought detail to the narrative of the most climactic moments in all of history. The beginning of everything.